Most people make the devastating mistake of turning success into failure. Hi and welcome to day seven, the final day of your WinWorks Largo Status Stage trial. By now, hopefully you've gone through everything. I know there's a lot to get through in one week. If you need more time, shoot me an email and I will uh, extend your free trial. This information is really important and you can tell by the time and effort that I've put into it that I, I want to share it. <laughs> it's really important. Uh, it will help you. So basically today's lecture is called Coffee Moments. What the beep? What on earth is a coffee moment? This goes back to even before the name Mystery to Mastery was invented. And quickly on that point, just so people know, <laughs> I've had some of the biggest names in teaching absolutely hate the name Mystery to Mastery. I'm a guy from the country. And when I was writing book one, I did not want to put my name on it because I was sharing information. It's not about me, it's about the information. And I got someone to edit my first book and she goes, you must give it a name and you've got to put your name on it. You have to, you can't put it out unless you've got your name and, and give it a name. So I thought about it long and hard and I thought, well, playing is a mystery. This is a mystery to me and I want to get better. Mystery to mastery, just popped into my head. No ego, just a name, got to have a name. So if you're watching it and go, what a presumptuous twit, <laughs> get over it. There's no ego involved in it. So to those people that have taken issue, <laughs> uh, I'd love to think that they would see this. Anyway, that's the truth. So predating Mystery to Mastery, and definitely, obviously, Windworks, I was in the learning process. Now, I need you to listen to the podcast. First part is career. Second part is my teaching. And to listen to myself talking about the process of learning was really fascinating. And one of the main catchphrases that I've had over the years is the coffee moment. People go, what is a coffee moment? Coffee moment is... I had read so much information. This, please watch and listen to Bob Reeves part two. I'd read so much information over a long period of time and was so convinced I was doing things incorrectly that I had to make a change and a quite dramatic change. And so when you make that decision, and I've referred in previous videos if you're not ready yet, and it's not a criticism. It's just that a lot of people aren't ready to go to the extent that it takes to change your playing on a very profoundly deep level. I'd got to that point. If you're not there yet, that's okay. Um, you'll be back. <laughs> uh, when you are ready, I was at that point where I was prepared to try anything because the the alternative was to quit, stop playing. The frustration wasn't worth it. When you believe it enough in your head, which I did, then I was prepared to sit down and surrender to the process. And it was at that point where I was prepared to do anything and repeat what I knew to be correct process with complete and utter disregard for the sound that's coming out of the end of the instrument. Why do I keep saying it's based on a new psychology and a new sensation, a new feeling? Because that's what it is. And long story short, I used to put things between my teeth to stop my jaw closing up. It felt ridiculous. But anyway, eventually I've gone, I am sticking with this process until it works. And I was prepared to not leave my practice room for weeks until I discovered a new way of playing. And it just so happened on this particular day, I was going from trombone to trumpet, trombone to trumpet, because trombone I wasn't having the issues, but trumpet I was for sure. And I was only learning. I hadn't played trombone before, but I thought I'll use the trombone as a vice to make these changes. And 
eventually I knew the feeling and I knew what I was after. And every time I went to play the trumpet, it would be a grip down in the middle of the lip. So I thought, ah, oh, the moo was developed to develop a new feeling away from the instrument. And all of a sudden, when you least expect it, process, let go, relax, open up. And when I least expected it, this note blasted out of the trumpet. Insane. Chills. Crazy thinking about it. What did I do? I put the instrument down because I knew it was a very profound moment and went to the kitchen and made a coffee. And if you don't drink coffee, have a smoothie, a juice, a whiskey, whatever floats your boat. Absorb the sensation of what happened. Tell who I'm now referring to as Greg 1.0 and Greg 2.0. Greg 1.0, Greg 2.0. Greg 2.0 is going to be an efficient, reliable, consistent player. And that feeling of the let go and the sound exploding from the body effortlessly. That's sending a message to Greg 2.0 going, that is it. Now, I know, and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. If I had have picked up the trumpet again and tried to repeat the process, my mind would have been in a different place. I don't know what I did that made that note speak. All I knew is that I'd let go consciously. So then if I try to engage a conscious thought to repeat the process, what's going to happen? Push, strain, failure, frustration. You know what I'm talking about. What I did is put the instrument down, go to the kitchen and relive it. Relive the success. Relive it. Relive it, relive it. If you're visualizing it and feeling it in the mind, it doesn't know whether you've done it or not. Physically, (laughs) it's lived the experience. So that's beginning to hardwire. A visualization is the hardwire. It's a new neural pathway, neuroplasticity. And it works. There is a million different uh, examples of this across the world. Do some research, it's wild. When you've got the new sensation, you surrender to process and let the system based on your new understanding do what it can do, you can make incredible changes. But if you get emotional or if you get consciously in the way of the process, you are gone. Or maybe not gone, but delaying the the results for a long, long, long time. And so, of course... (laughs) You may have picked up on it by now, but the course is all about teaching you correct process and then playing results driven so you can compare the difference. This is the way that I'm playing. This is the way that I want to play. It's really logical, but it's very difficult to explain. So the Windworks secret, I talk about a lot. The the actual video is not until the ultimate level. There's a heap of stuff in there. But... The essence of the wind work secret is neuroplasticity. Getting you, like in the previous lesson, bottom lip up, towards the top lip, rolled forward, corners in, arch tongue. Walk around and do it 10,000 times. It might feel weird. It might feel really different. But that's okay, because it won't feel weird and different by the time you've done it 10,000 times, and it will feed into the way that you approach playing. Instead of what I did for years, clamp the lips, got to get stronger, blow the shit out of the air. Pardon my French. So if you understand it and you recognize the sensation and you surrender to process, you'll be prepared to sit down and experiment on a very deep way instead of trying to control the outcome. That's the essence of it. Mm, is part of the wind work secret. Walk around and hum. Mao or mu, whichever works for you best. Fingers or visualizer. I don't need to go on because you listen to me talking a lot and you want to get into your playing. The adagio stage is just the next lesson. And you will further develop your 
technical ability based on process and then recognition with results. We start doing some fast up and down like the four factories, adding valves, tongue, double tongue, and uh, chromatics, harmonic slurs, and starting to build the range. And remember, it's the foundation development. Then when you get to the premium level, if you use your discount cards, you get book one and a month of the foundation and premium level for 20 bucks, and you book one forever, the, the ebook for the rest of your life. And it's got videos as well. Or the ultimate level, you get book one and book two, plus the entire Windworks course. You're going to, once you get into it and understand the essence behind it and what you're working on, you will get great benefits. And I don't spruik all of the blooming results that I get. I need to put all this feedback together uh, just to convince those that are a little bit dubious. But it just works. It's just sound. It's just easy and a lot easier than what you think. I'm gonna finish with that. So go back and watch all the Largo state of stage things again. Again, if you want more time, email me. I'll set you up for lifetime Largo, no problem. I want this conversation to spread far and wide. And as I said, it works. You just need to be in the right headspace and dedicated to your playing, and you will get there. Again, thank you for trying The Wind Works. Uh, LIGO State of Stage trial. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you and I look forward to seeing you across in Adagio, getting on the forum, sharing this information and broadening the community and the awareness of this game that we are playing as wind players. I wish you all the very best and please stay in touch. I hope to see you very soon. Ciao.